Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I have so much stuff to show you guys in this haul today. I'm so excited about it. There's literally so much stuff. Um, I'm gonna get straight into it. This is stuff that I've accumulated since my last haul um, and some of it's clothes, some of it's stationery that I thought was really cute that I wanted to show you guys. And then I also have one powder, like one makeup item and I'll show you that first um, just because I panned um, some powders recently and I'm kind of running low on powder at the moment because I only have, this sounds like I have a lot of powder. I have three powders at the moment but one of them is like this much used up and the other ones are like quite gone as well and I just use powder very regularly so I got a new one this is one that I've been mentioning I wanted to try out for a while my sister has this powder and she really likes it and so I wanted to get it for myself this is the Innisfree matte mineral setting powder it's a really standard price it's 10 bucks always and um, it has a really nice scent it's formulated with naturally derived mint and Jiju minerals mattifies the skin with a fresh feel it has a really nice fresh scent and I'm looking forward to using this in the future it's just a loose setting powder um, and it's supposed to be a mattifying one it's one of their best sellers so um, yeah, really excited to try this soon. Um, I've tried it when I've borrowed it off my sister before, but I'm really excited to own it for myself. It's really affordable and it's just from Innisfree. So that's one thing that I wanted to show you guys. That's makeup. Um, let's get into some clothing. Now, these tops I won't be trying on in this video just because they're literally crop tops and you can pretty much imagine what they're going to look like anyway. I had these crop tops um, or very similar ones in my like clothing collection already and you're going to be seeing these crop tops in some upcoming videos anyway so I'm not going to be trying any of these on I'm just going to be showing you guys each one as I go through um, this first one I wanted to show you is a gift from my friend Emma she got this from Brandy Melville and then she didn't want it anymore and I wear my pink version of this all the time so she gave it to me and she definitely gave it to a good home Emma I've already worn this so much and I'm going to wear it so much more um, you've probably already seen this I've worn this in like vlogs already um, and I'll be wearing it in some upcoming makeup tutorials videos I just love these tops from Brandy they're like one of my faves and um, I think the purple is really cute I wear my pink one heaps so thank you Emma again I love this so much um I feel sad for Emma that she didn't love this as much as I love it because I thought this would look really cute on her but she didn't feel confident in it and you know what that's the most important thing is feeling confident in your clothes so um it has gone to a home where it's a confident top for me and Emma has now got space in her closet for better clothes that suit her life better so go bestie good move to clear out things that you're not enjoying, I guess. Okay, then I got these two tops from Depop recently. Um, and I actually have these tops from American Apparel already in that really classic, do you guys remember back in the Tumblr days? Oops. Um, do you remember back in the Tumblr days when brand, uh, when American Apparel had that like palm tree print? I have this top in the palm tree print. These are both an extra small. They're just little high neck crop tops. And I really love the fabric of these. Like it's a really, really soft um, cottony material. I wonder if it's on the inside. It's just an American apparel size small, um, and I don't know if it says, oh, maybe I wanted to buy an extra small. I can't remember. I have one of these tops already. I can't remember if it's a small or an extra small, but um, I saw these being sold on Depop as a two pack. So that's the black version of the top. And then here is the white version of the top. Um, the white version is like literally in prime condition because like, you know, white tops can get stained and stuff over time. So when I saw this as like a two pack, um, really affordable, I was like, yes, I'm going to get those. And I'm hoping they fit me exactly the way my other version of this top does in the green colorway with the palm trees, because um, I really like the way this top fits on me. I just think it's a really flattering fit. Um, is this an S? Small or an extra small? This is a small as well. Hopefully these fit the same as my other top. Even if they're a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, they're really stretchy. So I'm sure it'll be very similar. I'm um, really excited about these. Just some good basics. I really like um, the material of these. Wait, I was going to show you guys what material they were made of. Um, let's see. I'm hoping to find... Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, not surprised. It's 95% um, cotton, 5% elastine. I love like that exact blend of like cotton spandex or cotton elastine. I just find it really comfortable and like stretchy and breathable and like one of my favorite cotton material combos. Anyway, let's get into some stationery because I have some random stationery to show you guys. I uh, showed you guys this stuff briefly in a vlog, but I wanted to show you guys up close on camera. Oh my gosh, my stationery is purple. My eyeshadow is purple. My t-shirt's purple. Wait, I should pose for another thumbnail. Maybe this is cuter. It's probably not that much cuter. I really like this stuff though. I'm going to show you guys like in detail. So I got this stuff from Big W um, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I have an exam coming up and I need to get some new notebooks because I have this other notebook um, that I'll show you guys really quickly. It's like a Star Wars one that I stole off my boyfriend because um, I was at his house and I needed a new notebook because I used up my last one. And literally, wait, I don't want to show you guys my notes because my handwriting is so messy. It's like kind of embarrassing. I'll just do a really blurry one. Like this is so full of stuff. I hope no one could read that. It's like my messy writing. But this is like literally almost completely full. I wrote so much. I write a lot of notes. Like I just 
when I'm studying, I really go for it. So I got a bunch of new notebooks and I also got the matching pen because I was like, this is so cute. Let's open it together. So the pen, of course, all the stuff I got is like the Little Mermaid theme because she's my favorite Disney princess. And when I saw that they had a little, oh my gosh, this is even magnetic. That's so bougie. When I saw that they had a like um, Disney princess collection of like stationery, it's so cute. It's got Ariel on the front, little crown details. Everything is like gold metallic. Um, I was so excited to see all this stuff in like Ariel version. So Ariel's my favorite. So this is what the pen looks like. It's a gold pen, it's so fancy. I also am a monster who uses up pens. Like I go through a lot of pens as well. Um, my favorite pen is the Pilot G2, no, no, G, oh, I've forgotten it now. I'll show you another time. Anyway, that's my, I have another pen that's my favorite pen. This is really cool though. It says Air, Artline Signature, so it's an Artline Signature pen. Oh yeah. And then, it, so it says Artline Signature there. Set upside down. There we go. And then it's got Ariel and a little silhouette of Ariel in gold. And then look, the pen has glitter in it. It's so fancy and it's like a gold pen. I feel like I should use this for special occasions. Maybe I won't end up using this for studying because I'd probably use up the ink really quickly because I write so much, but maybe I'd use this for like, I don't know, a fancy pen. Let me show you the other books I got. So first of all, I got this one that says, um, it's like, an, it's like a journal. So it's just from the, oh, these things are from the brand Spirex, by the way. Um, so this one is just like a journal and it has the like little, um, Thing that goes around the front which is nice um, and this kind of has like a faux leather feel it's really beautiful and it's got this illustration of Ariel on the front as you can see in that and then I got two notebooks which I will definitely this might end up used as like a more special notebook for like more serious notes and then I might use these two for like notes that I can rip out or like more like scribble kind of notes I don't know if that makes any sense it's just the way I study anyway so these two are both um, like purple front like Ariel prints on the front and then just like normal notepads on the inside so I'll show you these ones have like tear out pages that's why I mean like I can have these more for like scribbly notes because they have like the tear out um like dotted line for the tear out pages in there um and yeah I'm really excited I love fresh stationery like it's so exciting oh it has little like sayings on this one it says feet or fins stand up for what you want oh that's a bit cute on the inside just looks like this it's just like a plain notebook no like Disney details on the inside but um I'm a simp for Ariel so I got it because um I love Ariel and she was on the cover of these and I like the purple too, it matches my eyeshadow. That wasn't planned, that was like lucky. Um, I also stalked the illustrator who um, did this kind of style art. She did all the artwork for this collection on Instagram. I love her work. I like saved all of it into my Ariel folder. On Instagram, you know how you can have saved folders? I have like a whole folder saved of just like different people's artwork of Ariel because I love Ariel. Anyway, um, let's get into the next thing. Oh, I'll show you this one because this is another random thing and then we'll get into like the thick, like big clothing purchases. So finally, I ordered these ages ago. Don't look at the hair that's stuck to it. I ordered these ages ago, but these are some sheets of crystal rhinestone mesh. Not mesh, it's like crystal rhinestone backing sheets. So um, I got these on eBay. I got four sheets because I knew that it'd take a while to arrive. So I just decided I'd get four sheets and then when they arrive, it'd be good. Um, and it's just like crystal rhinestones. They come with this sticky tape stuff on the front just to protect the rhinestones, but that's just a lady peel off. And then you have this crystal rhinestone layer. And you can stick that on anything. Like if you stuck that on anything, it would just become like an all crystal thing, which is so pretty and I'm obsessed with these. So yeah, I got four sheets because I'm crazy for rhinestones, diamonds go with everything. It doesn't look as stunning on camera as these do in real life. Like these in real life are like pure ice. I'm obsessed with these um, and I can't wait to do some DIYs with these. They kind of have an interesting smell as well. I don't know if I've shown you guys previously. I'll show you now. I also have purchased like a similar sheet from in, I think it was a similar seller on eBay or the same seller um, in like an AB crystal. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera. Silver versus AB Crystal. The AB Crystal has more of a rainbow reflect, whereas the um, original clear one has just like a white silver. You can kind of see it better there. Like see how it's like white, whereas this one's like rainbow. It is different. I swear they're different. In real life, they're very different, but I love both of them. So I needed to buy all of this because I'm crazy for crystal DIYs. I've been thinking about getting into the dazzling as well recently, like with some E6000 glue and like hand rhinestoning something, but I'm not 100% sure what I want to rhinestone. If you have any ideas of cool things I can rhinestone, let me know. Um, I don't know, things that I'd rhinestone is like something I have in my life for a long time though. Like I wouldn't want to rhinestone any of my makeup because that gets very dirty very quickly. Um, I have a really cool phone case, otherwise I would bedazzle my phone, but I really like my phone case. Um, my laptop is not something that I would bedazzle. I don't know, I'm just like, I'm trying to think of something that would stay in my life that I'd appreciate bedazzling and I'd see every day if I did bedazzle it, but that's not like too high use that I'd damage or break the bedazzles off really quickly. Anyway, let's go into some other stuff that I got. This is some clothes. Um, this is my recent Honey Bidet purchase. I have been waiting for Honey Bidet to make this 
forever. So ages and ages ago, you might remember they came out with the Lisbeth collection, which had like a faux tattoos on them. So it was like a clear mesh kind of um, material. And on the mesh, it had a dragon embroidered on it. And so it looked like your skin had a dragon tattoo kind of coming out of it, which was really cool. Um, so it came in, I ordered it online. So, well, I went in store, but it didn't have it in store. So they sent it to my house. Um, it came with this beautiful little card, which they like send out with the little parcel, which was really cute. How fancy, like it's like, ooh, fancy. Um, and it says, do step this way, honey bee X. That's really cute. Um, anyway, that is like what the little card says. Wait, what's it all say on this side? I forgot. Your utmost desires have been filled. Love, honey bee. And it's like a cute kiss. Schmancy. Anyway, um, and then it came in this bag. This is, oh, I forgot what this set is called. The Khan set. Although this is the bodysuit, this also came as a, um, like dress version, I just prefer the bodysuit. I was tossing between the bodysuit and the dress, and I went with the bodysuit just because I feel like it's gonna be more versatile. I'm not gonna try this on um, on camera just because I feel like um, it's gonna be difficult to show you guys appropriately, but I will stick in a picture of the model from the Honey Bidette website wearing this instead because um, the picture's gonna be better than my pictures anyway. And you'll probably see me wearing this on my Instagram or something at one point, um, but it looks like this. It has this like clasped together neck detail. I'll show you all the details while we're here. I won't try it on though. So it's got this clasped together neck detail and on that little clasp, it's really beautiful. It says Honey Bidet on both sides. I love the little details they do in their designs. It's really nice. The neck is stretchy, so it's very comfortable. Um, and you have um, tigers going down both sides. And I love these. I wish they would also make in this like bodysuit kind of concept, one with angel wings on the back, because that would be so cool if you had like fake angel wing tattoos coming out the back. And I really want a phoenix one. I know they'd probably never make that, but I'd love a phoenix tattoo, uh, but I'm probably not gonna get one, but I'd love if they made a bodysuit of like a phoenix. I think that'd be really cool. The like design of these tigers is really cool as well. Like I love these. I love the symmetry of the tigers both going down the sides of the bodysuit. Oh, and I forgot to say, it zips up in the middle. So it has this little gold zip. It's very nice. Um, it's got a little bit of plastic wrapping on. Let's remove that together because I'm not going to return this sort of thing. Um, Honey Bidette stuff is kind of a little bit more pricey. So I only get something from them if I'm like absolutely obsessed with it. And I was obsessed with this. I've been waiting for them to make this happen since they made that dragon one happen. I'm looking over there when I'm talking about the dragon one because I have a picture of that dragon bodysuit on my literal mood board because I'm obsessed with it. Um, and I'm, I was like kind of manifesting them making this um, because that was like something I really wanted. So I put it on my mood board and I'm so glad they finally made it. So the little zip is gold. It's a beautiful little tag and it says HB on it for Honey Bird as well. Um, and then I'll show you the back. The back is like um, just plain, which is really nice and simple with the cutouts going down the side. It just is really nice. I also like the way the cutouts of the mesh are shaping the body. It's just a very flattering way that the curves are on the bodysuit. And then it goes down in kind of like a kind of like a more g-string style bottom and then there is a little like clip at the front so you can clip it at the crotch so you can open it if you need to go to the bathroom or something so that's really pretty they did have a variation of this that was like a scorpion so it's like a scorpio one more like the design of the original dragon lisbeth but i don't really want a scorpion tattoo so i didn't get that it didn't speak to my heart this spoke to my heart um and i like how it's a little bit different to the other one as well it's like Oh, I think it's really cool. I'm just obsessed with it. And I feel like this is going to be really cool with skirts. It's going to be cool with pants. It's going to be cool with everything. I'm just, I'm obsessed with it. Even like leggings over the top, just like, it's really cool. Um, I'll show you what the tag looks like. And um, I got this in a size extra small, by the way. I probably could get away with a small, but um, just the extra small just fits a little bit more flattering on my body. And um, this is kind of like a stretchier material. Like it's got a bit of give to it. And um, I want it to fit tight because it's a little bit more flattering. So this is what the front tag looks like. It's got the really beautiful um, rose gold HB logo. It says the black collection. Ooh, so fancy. I'm like talking about this a lot because like this was kind of expensive as you can see. Kind of expensive. Oh, you can't see on camera. It was like $220. It's kind of expensive. So this is like a wow purchase to me. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I hope you are too. It did come, this collection, they also came out with a dress, but yeah, I just, I didn't know if I needed the dress. I don't really feel like I need it when I have a bodysuit now and I just prefer the bodysuit over the dress. It took me ages to decide between the two. Um, I had asked all my friends, I was like, bodysuit or dress? But um, I did settle on the bodysuit because I just feel like I can pair it with more things, whereas the dress is like, it's a dress, that's it. Also the dress, I don't love the way the back is cut um, around the butt area. I just don't like the way the like cutouts are on the side. I don't know, I'm not 100% flat 
Next, I have another thing that I'll show you. Um, I'll show you these shoes next. Actually, no, I'll show you this. This is like a little one. Um, I got a new mask from my gym. This is my little ECA mask. I'm really excited about it. I showed you in a vlog recently, but I thought I'd show you here as well in my little haul for it to be like an official thing. I love showing you guys everything I've purchased recently in my hauls. But yeah, it has a little ECA logo on the front. I just got some dust on it from my table. Don't look at the dust. Anyway, um, the ECA logo on the front and then on the inside, it has East Coast, East Coast written in there um, from my cheerleading gym. So we all have like little matching cheerleading gym themed masks, which is really cute and handy because masks. Anyway, okay, let's get into these shoes. I really, really needed these shoes. Well, is anything I need? Not really, but I have some thigh high boots and I've worn them since I was literally... 17 or 18 like I've had them for years and years and years at this point. How long ago is that? 18 to 19, 19 to 20, 21, 22, like at least three or four years I've had these shoes and they are absolutely busted. The heels are wobbly and I was wearing them out this Halloween like multiple nights because I wear these boots so much especially when I'm like going out and stuff and it was just so difficult to walk in them. They were so dodgy and I was like it's definitely time I replace these shoes. I've had them for years and they're definitely past their use by. The total underneath has worn through um, and they're kind of beyond repair. I do really enjoy taking my shoes to the shoe like cobbler to get them repaired, but these shoes are not um, able to be repaired at this point. Like they're kind of past it. Um, I've worn them way too much on too many nights out. So I went to one of my favorite stores in Sydney called highheels.com. They sell um, exotic heels and sexy clothing. This is like the little bag they gave me. I'm going to reuse this bag because it's a nice large size. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend checking out highheels.com.au if you want to um, find some really cool shoes. I love their shoes. They sell like all the pleasers, all that pleasers branded stuff like, you know, um, like uh, fan Fantasia, you know what I'm talking about, like the Pleasers um, sub brands as well. Um, and they just have a great variety, great um, variety also of sizes as well. And also they have lots of really cool clothing there as well, like um, like uh, sexy clothing. They have like heaps of different designs and like styles and stuff. And it's just like, a really exciting store in my opinion. I love what they have. Um, so I got some Pleasers from there. Um, I went into their city store and I got the Delight 3000s. Um, in the um, patent black like faux leather. They're not real leather. I think they're vegan. Um, and I got them in a size US 8. So that's an EU 38, 24.9 centimeters, UK size 5. So that's what all the details are on the side. I love how the pleasers have the little um, butterfly there. I just think that's really cute. And this is what the top of the box looks like. I'm going to open it up with you guys, but I won't be trying these on on camera because I'll be able to pop in a picture that's a better visual. Um, it's just difficult for me to get like a full body shot um, with the way my room is right now. So um, I'll stick in a picture instead, but I'll open one of them up just so that we can have a little unboxing together. I'm really excited about these because my old boots are so busted and they smell like too many nights out. They're like not fresh shoes anymore. Anyway. So they're wrapped really nicely. I've already unwrapped these, but the lady in the store, she was so friendly. She did a great job of wrapping them and the paper like says pleaser all over it because these are some pleasers, obviously. Um, and so these are a six inch heel um, and they do have a platform. So they're like this. Um, they kind of have, with the heel, it's kind of a curved heel. A lot of heels have like a straight back and it's like straight here. So it's like flat and you can like have a color on the inside or something. But this is actually all curved, which is kind of interesting. At first I was unsure if I liked it, but the more I've looked at these shoes, the more I think I enjoy it. On like the pictures that I've seen online, I didn't like the way the curve looked as much. I felt like it looked too, um, like triangular rather than pointy. But in real life, it's actually very pointy. And I like the way the stiletto looks with that like angular point. Um, I really like the shape of the front of these heels. They have a really nice rounded toe, um, very similar to my um, patent black um, leathery kind of um, like just stilettos that I have that aren't boots, just like plain open um, front here, not open toe. I don't really have an open toe. Um, but yeah, I just love everything about these. These are so classic. These are thigh high, of course. Oops, thigh high, of course. So they go up very, very high um, and they look amazing on. The material is a little bit stretchy. Um, I have very skinny little legs, so um, it doesn't really um, fit like tight, tight on me, um, but it's not loose at all, if that makes sense. I went for this one um, over some other boots that they had because some of the other boots, they don't have the stretch, whereas these, they do have a little bit of stretch. Like, I'm trying to like stretch it for you guys. Can you see that? So if your thighs, if you have like thicker thighs than me, um, these do mold to your body. And I have seen people with thicker thighs than me wearing these. And over time, they just stretch to your leg shape and like mold to your shape. So don't worry if they fit tight when you like try these on the first time. They do stretch out to fit you. Although mine probably won't stretch to fit me because I am a noodle. Um, they have this zip down the side, which is really easy to get into um, because they like zip down all the way to the bottom of the platform there. 
Also, the platform makes these super easy to walk in. Like, these are, like, so easy to walk in. And because it is a boot, like, you're totally secure and, like, sealed into the shoe, if that makes sense. I'll show you the inside. They have this little detail here. So, it means when you're zipping them back up again, you don't catch yourself on your skin. Or if you're wearing, like, pants underneath or, like, funky socks or something, you don't damage um, any clothing you're wearing underneath with the zip. Or it doesn't rub against the zip, which is very nice. On the inside, it's quite a soft material. Um, it just is like this. I hope that comes up on camera. It's soft. It's not like sticky or like um, pleathery on the inside. It's like nice, smooth on the inside and they're quite easy to get on. Um, the zip is plastic, um, but it's like a high quality zip and um, it's like got a nice YKK um, zip down the bottom. Like it's a really nice, decent, like heavy duty kind of feeling zip. Um, and yeah, these are Delight 3000s, all man-made materials. And I'll just show you the little... It's not focusing. Well, it says what I literally just said, so... You get the vibes. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about these. Like, I have been wanting new thigh-high boots for the longest time because my old ones are so past the expiry date. And I kind of feel like these are an upgrade because the other pair I have, they're a little bit shorter. They have a bit of a chunkier heel. I got them when it was a little bit more difficult for me to, like, find shoes like this um, because I didn't know, like, places made shoes like this. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like those are, like, Level one, these like level up from there. Like these have the platform, these are way more pointy, these have the sheen that I like, this is a bit more like, I don't know, they make more of a statement. They also make these in a matte kind of um, faux leather as well, um, that's not as shiny, but I feel like the patent leather says such a statement and um, I love patent leather, it's so like extra and out there, so I love those. Okay, the last thing I have to show you guys today, I have wanted this literally since like last year, but then it was like sold out last year in my size. And I was like, oh, and I was kind of sad, but it finally came back in stock in my size. This I purchased from General Pants and it's from the brand Insight. I got this one in size extra small and this is a um, boiler suit. So this is called the Nikki Maxi Denim Boiler Suit in the shade Blue Eclipse. Um, so those are all the details. If you, if it will focus, come on. Okay, and again, because this is like a full body outfit, I'm not going to try this on for you guys, but I will stick on a picture um, over here so that you guys can see what it looks like on the model. Um, this fits incredibly well. I'll show you all the details. So it has a collar. I really like the color of the wash on this denim. It's like the perfect mid-tone wash. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's very vintage vibes. It has a metal zip down the front, which I think very much suits it. If it was a plastic zip, I don't think it would match the vintage vibes of this boiler suit. You can zip it up all the way or you can have your... Um, like you can like have that all the way up so it's a little bit more conservative or you can like zip it down and like have a funky bra showing or like a top underneath or whatever you feel like it's just very versatile you can zip down all the way but um i feel like that's too far down anyway um this also has short sleeves which is really cute because i feel like it has long legs and short sleeves it's quite wearable you can wear this in winter with a jacket over the top or you can wear this in summer because it still does have short sleeves um i just really love the wash of the denim and the shade of the zip also i just feel like it really suits the boiler suit working down to the waist this waist is so snatched like it has this panel here which kind of wraps around like a little waistband and um it really accentuates and like cinches in the waist it looks really really flattering on and on the back it hasn't got any pockets but the way the back is it doesn't like squash your bum down at all like it's very flattering on the butt and you can see by the paneling here it's very flattering on the behind um you'll probably see me wearing this on my instagram very soon so follow me on instagram if you want to see me wearing this soon but um i'm just so obsessed with this it does also have some pockets on the front but they're not the traditional kind of pocket that you can stuff a lot in i don't know what i can put in there maybe just like some coins or something i don't know it's a very small um pocket not like small but like i don't know this kind of a pocket it's like kind of like less deep it's like kind of still open a bit it's not as hidden i don't know if that makes sense anyway the actual leg of the pants are flared and it's such a nice fitting flare like they fit kind of tighter down the leg and then they flare out past the calf and um it's just a really nice loose flare um actually it's not like too tight down the leg either it just like it fits and it goes wee it's like it's perfect um these are kind of long on me so they're gonna look really really good with like heels or i can like you know always fold them up they're not too long that they're gonna drag on the ground but if i wanted to i could always roll them as well if i was wearing like really flat flats um, but I really like a little bit of extra length on the bottom of these because even though I'm short, um, I like to wear stompy heels or like stompy platform shoes with stuff. And so it like elongates the leg. I feel when I'm wearing like a tall shoe with, um, something that's a little bit too long for me. Um, I'm five, four, by the way, if you're wondering, um, and if you want to find all my measurements, um, my measurements are on my style by Titch Instagram page. So I have my normal Instagram, mtitch20 or emilytitch20. Um, it's emilytitch20. And then um, I have like some other Instagram pages. So on my style by Titch page, all my measurements are there. If you ever want to like see what size I am in something, 
to compare sizes for yourself. Um, I got a size extra small in this and my sizes are um, up on that Instagram. I don't remember all my sizes by heart, sorry. Um, this is really cute. I just noticed this. It says, repeat it after me. I am free. Oh, that's a bit cute. Um, but yeah, that is the last thing I have to show you guys. I'm so excited about it. Hope the pictures on the model um, give you the vibes because I, like, my room's too messy. I can't really show you guys um, backing up right now. It's kind of chaotic behind me. Actually, it doesn't look too chaotic. It is chaotic, though. It's also very difficult for me to get, like, a full body shot with the way my room is because it's not um, deep enough for me to get the camera to show that far up. I hope that makes sense. But that's all I have to show you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me on this haul. I'm really excited about everything I got. Um, I can't wait to start writing my notes down on my new cute aerial stationery while wearing my new thigh high boots, while wearing my new boiler suit with my cute little tank tops underneath and just wearing all this stuff at once, including my powder. Just... Oh. It's a lifestyle. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. I upload all the time and I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Toodaloo. Bye.